Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. And this, this is a major precedent-setting case. Headline, Chinese paramilitary thugs police London torch rally. Outrage after British government allowed members of China's internal security force to manhandle protesters. And they go and single people out. They do not allow, because this has been put on Chinese TV, they do not allow uh, signs for Tibet. This is unprecedented. This is Europe-wide. Paul Watson, Steve Watson, uh, who wants to go first here? I appreciate you coming on. Hello, Alex. This is Paul. Paul, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello, Alex. How you doing? We hadn't had you on, my friend, in a while. Just as Brits, who've always been fiercely independent, now domesticated, just like us here in the U.S., what is it like to see this happening? Well, my first impression of it when I saw these um, so-called guardians of the Olympic torch um, assaulting and manhandling protesters and barking orders at everybody, I mean, it appeared to me just from the video that, you know, they were in charge. The British police were basically taking orders from them, from what I could see. And I was thinking, like everybody else, who on earth are these people? Then it comes out today that they're uh, the creme de la creme of the Chinese paramilitary police. Um, I told you that story earlier, Alex, that I was in Shanghai last summer. And we were walking down the street, and then I suddenly saw these guys who were a foot taller than everyone else, frog marching down the street, you know, in a military parade, basically, wearing bulky camo gear. So I'm thinking, you know, this is Shanghai, not Beijing. It's supposed to be the business capital of China, not the military and government capital, which is what Beijing is. So... I said, why? I said to my girlfriend, why? Why are the military soldiers frog marching down the street? And she said, oh, they're not military; they're just regular police. <laughs> and these were the same guys that were in London two days ago, throwing protesters around in Britain. Now again, she would know she's Chinese. Exactly. So and it comes out that they're, you know, highly trained in riot control, martial arts, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. They've come over here on visitor visas they've not said who they're working for and the labor party the british government has just let them in and they're basically in control of security for the uh, olympic torch procession and then in the u.s peaceful 50 tibetans with people speaking english and the police walk up and say quote i'm going to kill you this is a quote this is unauthorized pull out metal batons and begin savaging men and women I mean, we have reached pit of hell level. Do you understand, you cowardly, uh, uh, weak people that have, you know, turned into such slime out there listening that support this government? This is land of the free, home of the brave. Look at England. It's all turning into sass. Go ahead. Steve, what is this like for you? Well, it's surreal, isn't it? I mean, if you... Take a look at these these men walking around. And look at how they're dressed. I mean, they're dressed in in sort of shiny blue tracksuits with white baseball caps. I mean, you you would think that they were, you know, part of the official Olympic committee, but they're not. They're they they're basically soldiers, Chinese soldiers, walking around on British soil. You know, manhandling protesters. And the other thing to be said is <sighs> that um, I got an email yesterday from somebody who was at the protest. Stay there. I want to hear about this breaking news with Steve Watson. This is a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, you will have Chinese troops in America line you and your family up and gun you down and throw you in pits. I'm not joking. How many times have I told you that? How many times did I tell you Rush Limbaugh would endorse Hillary? I told you five years ago. They plan to use them. In fact, in official U.S. government maps, large areas of the U.S. will be policed by them. Going back to Steve. Steve, uh, you're in London. You had friends that were at the protest. Tell us what they saw, not just what's been on the news. Yeah, well, I got an email yesterday. 
uh, Monday from somebody who was at the protest who mm. basically said to me um, he didn't he's not he wasn't a protester he was simply there to document it he didn't doesn't have any you know particularly strong leanings towards the free Tibet movement but just wanted to be there to to, pro, to document the experience really and uh, he said that he was just sort of walking around filming and um, came across a scene where a protester had been pinned to the ground by three police, and so he started filming it with his camera. And uh, as he approached it, it was about 30 metres away, and moved closer in. The police picked up on the fact that he was filming um, and basically just forgot about the protester that they were pinning down and went after him because he was filming it. He'd also been filming um, the Tibetan flags, there's enormous amount of Tibetan flags there and uh, they t basically they pinned, they got hold of him he didn't resist uh, they punched him in the back shoved him to the ground and put a knee on his neck now was this the Ch communist Chinese uh, death forces and that's what they are, they go around killing people all day uh, in fact uh, I've talked to a lot of folks in China uh, who've, who've, who've told stories about they'll take a political dissident cut their male breast off, cut their genitals off, and then let them bleed to death. One group of cops does that, and then an, and the plainclothes paramilitary, and then another group comes along and arrests them for being a pervert who cut their own genitals off. Paul, you've heard about that stuff. Well, you, you hear all kinds of horror stories. I mean, what I've noticed is the media is not giving a platform to the real issues that they call them anti-Chinese protesters. I mean, they're not protesting against Chinese people or the country. It's the government. Steve, Paul, why do they hate your freedom so much? I mean, why do they revel in destroying any freedom? Why do the, the British police? Well, that's what they've been trained to do. I mean, they, shortly after you were there in 2005, they passed a law that basically outlawed protests in Britain. You have to get government permission to protest against the government which is, in effect, an outlaw. You have to get a permit to do it. And, there's, I mean, there's comments on my article on Infowars about how police would, uh, you know, people would do the Olympic torch procession and then they'd be assigned an individual police officer just to watch them and make, make That's sure That's right. How dare you, boo? A commissar's now looking. We're one step away from being sent to gulags. I'm not joking. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's globalization. I mean, if, if you're going to have globalization, you've got to have globalized security and uh, policing operations. That's what um, that's what happened in Scotland in 2003, I think it was, where you had the uh, French and Ukrainian soldiers pulling people out of their cars at checkpoints who were part of a NATO operation. So it's all about a globalized uh, security force of having foreign troops in the country. And, you know, these uh, paramilitary police that were uh, shoving protesters around in London. It's from the same unit that's been shooting people in Lhasa in different areas in Tibet and killing people. And now photos have come out of flatback trucks handing out robes, uh, the uh, reddish, uh, brown, and orange robes uh, to the Chinese military. And it's been confirmed, even the British government's admitted, they're dressing up like monks, and, and, then, and, 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 then, and then they can machine gun the peaceful people. Yeah, we, we had an article a couple of weeks ago that um, showed a supposed Tibetan protester wielding this giant sword who was going around attacking people. But in the photos released by the Chinese state media, he'd been airbrushed out of the photo, and it turns out that he's a, he's a security official from this same unit that was in London. So the, the reports were true that they were instigating some of the... Because, I mean, people were confused, saying, why, why are these Tibetans attacking other, you know, Han Chinese ethnic groups and attacking their own businesses, setting fire to places? A lot of that was obviously copycat, but from the evidence, it was started by the uh, 
PLA and the other security. That's right. They were doing mass arrest ahead of the Olympics of the entire leadership or who they believed didn't agree with the government. Same thing right. our, our government's making lists for here. They and, and, and so when they do that here, it'll be the same MO. They will have people dressed up, as I've always said, like militia people. Machine, it'll be school buses, folks, because they had Bin Laden run ops in Serbia against the Serbs. And then when the Serbs fight back, uh, then they say, oh, look, they're attacking innocent people. Well, it'll be the reverse here, but the similar first step. You'll have them bombing buildings, killing cops, attacking schools. Uh, they'll even, quote, kill the terrorists and have maybe even me dressed up, you know, in a uniform. It'll be me bloody on television. Uh, and all they do is grab me at my house the night before. Uh, and then they go shoot up a school bus, and then they shoot Alex Jones, and then they drag me out and have me bloody land on the ground. And that's how they do it, ladies and gentlemen. And they don't think they don't have special ops ready to machine gun up school buses because they believe in justifies the means. They're brainwashed, uh, mainly Christian Zionists in this country, uh, who believe that it's a holy war against the Muslims, and they have to do this to make Jesus come. And so they got to kill a few hundred kids in school buses.